We are live. Welcome into the Real to Real podcast. My name is Alex Dargay, and we're talking about real estate, real shit, and we're having a real good time. Joining me is my buddies, Kevin Ram, Sammy, Joey Samidi, and Nick Salmon. What's up, fellas? What's up, guys? What's going, What's going on? on, fellas? How we doing? We're doing. Yeah. What are you talking about today, fellas? I think the topic you should know, be social media, man. Social media and the algorithms that we got going on. I, they seem to switch up on us quite quite uh, often. Yeah, we'll take a step back, back. If you don't know us, my name's Alex. I'm a realtor. Um, my buddy Joey and Kevin, we're, we're all realtors here. And Nick Salmon, he, I'll let him introduce himself. Go ahead. Yeah, so I'm a mortgage loan officer with Greenlee Mortgage. Uh, you know, we set up shop next door, and then you guys came along and kind of been talking about the podcast for a little while and decided to come on and just ready to clash, dude, ready to do big things, and yeah, we're all starting out at the same to time. Clash. clash together outside the golf course, right? That's right. That was, that was a clash, dude. That yeah. was bad. So. The first time I met Nick, I didn't meet him, but so he, you guys put us in a group chat. And it was like golf, or it was Evan. Evan put us in. Oh yeah. He added me or something, and he's like, "Golf tomorrow." I was like, "Shit, dude, why not?" And then I get a call from Nick. I'm like, "Oh, what's this guy want? I never met him before." <laughs> and then turns out he's like cold calling me because he's a mortgage loan officer, and like he's like, "Hey, man, like I just wanted to talk." And I'm like, "Yeah, dude, like I think we're going golfing tomorrow, aren't we?" He's like, "No way, that's you." You're in that group chat? Dude, I, Wait. I did the same thing to Alex. I cold called Alex, and he's like, I hear him. He's like at the gym. He's like, yeah. I'm like who is this? Yeah. I'm like, Alex, what's up, bro? And he's like, Wait, are you the dude in the group chat with me? And I'm like, Looking yeah. at my phone, like, I was wondering <laughs> whose number that was. So, like, I literally cold called both of them that day, and they were both in that group chat. I think it was Evan that put us in that group chat. So, yeah. wait, you, you were in the group chat first, and then you cold call, called both of them? Yeah, I think you put us in the group chat, or yeah. it was Evan. Somebody yeah, did. I was, I I was so confused chat, how that happened. I was like, it's me, Joey, and two numbers that I don't have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't I, didn't know. Like... I didn't know, and then I figured it out that it was you. So I saved your number, like Nick Salmon or whatever, and then you call me, like, an hour later. I'm like, oh, what does he want? I'm like, okay. And he's like calling me about, you know, job stuff. I'm like, dude, yeah, we're going to, we're going golfing tomorrow. Weird. He's like, no way, that's you. Let's save it for I'm the like, links. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. 100%. Dude, we'll dude. talk on the greens. That's everyone's go to. And actually, we went golfing the other day with a couple of my buddies, and then, uh, I pulled in Evan, dude. I was like, had headphones in, and I'm just like ripping tees off. But when he was setting his phone down and ripping off, like driving, yeah, I was Evan. like, this dude is like a different cat. Yeah. He's literally <laughs> he's about to off. drive, drive, and like, he's on the phone with a client, sets his phone down. All you hear is whoosh. <laughs> yeah. He's fucking driving. You would have heard my slice. Yeah. All right. Well, there's that. So, algorithms. What about them? How, how, how do they work, dude? Like, how, how, how do these algorithms work? Well, it used to be like hashtags, I think, was the big thing to do, but I don't know if that's the thing anymore. Yeah, dude, like I've, I've had a list of hashtags on my phone that when I post on TikTok, Instagram, you know, YouTube, I'll throw them all in the, in the you know, description or whatever. Are they all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. And I, I like to use the main ones like investor, real estate investing, like Cleveland, Ohio, whatever. Mm -hmm. That used to pop off with views. And now when I use them, it's, I think the more algorithm, or the more hashtags you use now, the less they push it because they realize you're just spamming hashtags. Yeah. I yeah. feel like they don't know where to broadcast it to if you put a lot of them too. Like, yeah. You know, like, it's not targeted. All the place. Yeah. Right. Well, I always thought that the hashtags were only for if people look up, like, do searches based on the hashtag. Like, if someone went to the search bar and put hashtag Cleveland real estate or something, I thought that's the only reason that you do them. I don't know. Yeah. Is it? Uh, yeah. Honest, I think, yeah, if you're looking at, like, those words in that hashtag, like the keywords, kind of like how Google has their keywords, it's pretty much the same thing. Like you have your keywords in the hashtag and then they match them with like, they, yeah. they use that, that pound symbol to match them. See, that's why I never really cared for the hashtags because I'm like, who the hell's looking up hashtag real estate? <laughs> like, well, yeah, that's taking the time and doing yeah. that. Well, but you, I, you see how many views there are. So like, like how many posts, like even if you put like Insta good, there's like 2 billion posts or whatever. So you click on the hashtag, there's 2 billion posts, which could be a good and bad thing because it's kind of... It's broad. Yeah, yeah super broad. broad. Yeah. yeah. You get drowned out by all the competition too. Man. Yeah. But also I think it's how long someone watches your video. Like like how much they interact with it. So if they watch it all the way through, then Instagram realizes that, oh, like 
they're going to push it out more. Right. And if they, like, if people put the caption thing real quick at the end like that, and then they'll go click on the caption, read it, and maybe throw you a like or something. Yeah. Then, mm-hmm. you know, since it got more interaction, then they might push it out a little bit. Listen, it's more people. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I've heard. I don't know. That, I think that's how TikTok is. I don't know Instagram. I don't know. Do same, people but. do that, too? Just call my attention because when they're looking at the caption it's still playing the video it's like do people get more views while they're reading that's the caption? what i heard that's what people say like because you'll see it you'll say like they'll put a ca- like their normal caption or whatever then real quick it'll say caption yeah then, like, i see that a lot yeah. yeah yeah and then people like take that second that extra second just to look at the caption and that's yeah. when they you know track exactly. you in because yeah. well, the video doesn't explain the whole thing itself so you, you know you explain it more in the caption and you read like three paragraphs uh, what they're talking about 100%. that and like everyone's attention span is like so minimal nowadays like you even think about like oh, yeah. what the apps are gearing towards is like tiktok you just like scroll through like mindlessly it's like endless content but you got to grab the attention like seriously the first two seconds you got to start shaking your freaking booty in the first couple seconds <laughs> yeah. And then honestly yeah people start watching they're like what does, what's this guy doing yeah <laughs> booty shaking i love it gotcha. yeah <laughs> so so how how should we like how do you guys think we should start pushing like our videos to get more viewership and like what do you think you should do i think you guys are on the right track with youtube youtube youtube's huge yeah i mean i know i I know i watch youtube a lot and i recognize people everywhere like they live i don't even like michigan and i like know who they are right just from youtube right dude because they they drop bombs on, on youtube you know that guy flipping mastery that's in uh puerto rico right now yeah I actually just met him at Cedar Point. No shit. Yeah, just just because he's a YouTube dude, but to me, he seems like a freaking like celebrity. He seems For like sure. yeah. yeah, you know, like a, like a Miranda Cosgrove type deal or yeah. whatever. I watch so many of that guy's videos. It's not even funny. He's yeah. a beast, dude. He's he's, he's nuts. He does he's a, a lot of big stuff. Now. He's got a big family yeah. too. Yeah, he does. Like I was I was just like introducing myself. I was like, yo, I'm a huge fan. Like it'll be reason like I became a realtor. He's like, yeah, this is my family. He points to like our, uh, we were on like the train at Cedar Point, so he points to like a train full of kids, and I was like, <laughs> all of them. He's like, yeah. Damn. Like cousins cool and nephews guy. and stuff yeah. or what? Yeah, no, just well, he's kids. like Mormon or something, isn't he? I, I think so. Something like that. I think so. I don't know. He's but got a ton of kids. Yeah. Is he cool? He's a cool dude. Really? He's like super humble. Like he, That's awesome. He's just like a super family friendly. Yeah, super religious dude. Yeah. From what I remember. Yeah, yeah that too. He does like big homes now, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How big is this guy? Because I've never seen him. He's huge. Dude. He's probably got 360,000, I think, followers or subscribers on YouTube. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, he's not the he, biggest, but he's he made an impression for sure. Yeah. He's he so started, genuine, dude. Yeah, he started out in like construction, I think, right? Mm-hmm. And then he just started what wholesaling. Yeah, wholesaling. Yeah. So what? He just Huge. like does he just walk you through his flips? Like this is dude. He'll go. He'll walk you through his cold calls. He'll do live cold yeah. calls and how he talks to people. He'll it's go like, through it and like how to do it. Like it's it's pretty cool. Well, that's the thing too. That's the big thing about reels too. Is like all he does is really provide like free value, free information. Like he wants like the people around him to succeed. So and yeah. it's kind of the same thing when you post to Instagram. When you post free value, everyone like loves and respects that Mm -hmm. you know what i mean so for sure and i feel like they love seeing like the the behind the scenes side of things too for sure like as a buyer or seller you're seeing like what you're doing Mm -hmm. but then you have you just call an agent and say like hey what do i do or if in a buyer's case they call you and they say hey how do i get approved or like what do i need and then if you're showing like down the back end of things they can understand it more you know be able to to be ready for it Mm -hmm. when it comes up 100%. 100%. It's kind of like that that servitude kind of thing where it's people don't want to be sold. They want to come to you and like you as a resource and then kind of like earn their trust a little bit. Exactly, the trust. Yeah. And then they're obviously going to stay with you because you've treated them so well, you know, so. Yeah. Give them what they want until they want what you want to give them. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of yeah. yeah. That, that, that goes hard, actually. Yeah. Fire. What the fuck? Give them what they want. Bo- yeah. Dropping bombs. Hey, someone yeah. clip that. Drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Wait, what was that? I got I got a freaking quote that or something. That was nice. Do you even remember? I probably read in a book. Yeah. So what we were talking, it was give them what they want. Give until them, they, give them what they want until what they want gives is you what you want to give them. Yeah, for sure. That's what nice. There's probably there's probably a better way to say that, but yeah, gets the job done. It does. Think about it. Yeah, It'd be good. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, that wraps up this podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but now, just, dude, how do you guys feel about TikTok <clears throat> for real estate? Because I know Joey, Kevin, and I are are in a race to a thousand first to get to a thousand followers on TikToks. Yeah. We got we got to figure out a prize for that or a punishment for last person to get there. But 
Who's all participating in that? Just us three right just now. Us three. Just us three. I think if you raise to a thousand, dude, I get it on. I didn't even have Instagram. How, all how many shit. followers do you have on TikTok? Shit, I don't know. I get like three likes a video, dude. So I don't know what that means. Maybe. I'll have to look because I haven't really been utilizing TikTok. You it means you got three people that love you. Yeah, love me yeah. to death, and you're one of them. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm happy one too. Yeah, you might be. The, the three likes are. Oh, is that literally you guys? <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe four of my mom somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My biggest fan. I post more on Instagram. I prioritize Instagram Reels over TikTok. Mm-hmm. I think so I too. Think, I don't know why. I think it's a broader I, following. I think you can really build so a too. brand better on Instagram. Well, dude, I think so just too. TikTok. I get like 300 views. And it's like, who's watching like, them on TikTok? It could be yeah. like a freaking 12-year-old. Right. All the way in Yemen or something. Yeah. 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 Where it's like Instagram, you, we already have a following. Like, yeah. you got 600, 800,000. You exactly. got a lot more than us. But yeah. these but, people are seeing it anyway when you put them on your feed. So Yeah. Yeah. And that helps with the algorithm, too, because they'll watch it, and they'll broadcast it out even more. Yeah. So I think it's definitely more organic on Instagram. Like, you get your the people that love you already. Then you have them push it out to people that are gonna love you. Yeah. So it's, I, yeah. There's definitely a lot more room to grow on Instagram, but I feel like TikTok you can grow, but just a matter of, like with Instagram it's quality over quantity. Mm -hmm. With TikTok I believe it's like quantity over quality. Oh for sure. How much you post. And I think one of them's gonna hit on TikTok. Exactly. One of them's gonna hit no matter what. Yeah. Like Mm -hmm. you just gotta keep at it. Like mine are fucking dumping on me right I get like yeah dude and some like the ones likes. the ones I post I'm like dude this one could blow like yeah oh two likes and then I'll yeah. post one it's like this one's stupid but I'm just gonna post it anyway those, just those, rips, blow, dude. Yeah. those blow up yeah those blow but that's up. part of that's part of the algorithm too isn't it the consistency like Instagram and like TikTok and things like that they love like the consistency yeah. I, I think I gotta, that's read it I gotta read up on it dude I, I forget it's weird it dude it's like rocket science at this yeah. point yeah. and it shouldn't be no, I so. post a fire video. It should be going viral. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Yeah. I like I like what Alex does with. He takes one clip and posts them on all different platforms. Because some people, like in one platform, like let's say Facebook, you have like the older crowd, mm-hmm. like maybe like forties, fifties, thirties, even. And sometimes they have a different sense of humor than people on like TikTok, like the younger crowd, TikTok or Instagram, where you have like these guys like they're looking at short form videos, but like on Facebook you can post like thirty seconds and still get some good viewership. Yeah. So I think it just depends on like where you post it, what type of content you post, and like how you present yourself in that content. Yeah, yeah. I agree. My main three are TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. For sure. I'll hit Snapchat with one once in a while. Yeah. Just for I mean the old YouTube really shorts. I threw one. I haven't done yeah, it. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. It's funny. Good using that. Like I use Facebook a lot, but then it's always like my mom and uncle are like, yeah. I love you, you're doing so great. And I'm well, like, so proud of you. Us, you guys are like, yeah. <laughs> my little munchkin. And I'm like, oh, shut <laughs> up, shut up. Yeah. I'm a big yeah. boy now. I'm a big loan up. Well with Facebook too, like your parents' friends, like I'm friends I don't know about you guys, but I'm friends with all my parents' friends, like yeah. who they know and they all have houses, right? So I'm mm-hmm. gonna be top of mind when they scroll through their feed and see me 100%. and if they're ready to sell, they're ready to buy, whatever. Yeah. So I feel like that's another plus of Facebook. You get like the people you know that your parents know, your aunts and uncles know, your sure. grandparents. Yeah. So were you guys like hesitant to post on social media at first? Like kind of nervous about it? Well, I don't know how you guys feel, but I like I just don't like social media. Like not a fan. We need yeah. to be for our business mm-hmm. on there because it only helps. Yeah. Right. But I feel like if I wasn't doing this, I might not even be on social media right. or I'll post something like once a year. A hundred percent. So well you just got a referral from your videos on right. Facebook. But uh, well, yeah, I know and I've only been posting for not long at all. Oh uh, yeah, I know. And it was literally fifteen minutes before we started recording, yeah. but I posted five or six on Facebook and just got a call from a family member's sister, who mm-hmm. I guess is still a family member, if you think about it. <laughs> yes. But wanting to sell and buy. <laughs> well there right? you go. There you go. Right. And meanwhile, like at the same time, like when you go to post it, you feel like this is stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like you just made this stupid. But video. you make you make five or six videos. What does it take? Right. Fifteen minutes maybe to make those videos, depending on what you're doing, and then you get that one call that could be huge. Right. You get a listing and so, a, and a buyer from exactly. that. That's the biggest ROI ever. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It's exactly. just a long game and just for making ten minutes of content. Yeah. Ten minutes yeah. Equiv- equivalates to like what? Like, like five thousand dollar commission. Seriously, maybe even more than well, that. Like, if yeah. it's a buy and sell, right? Even like how it was described, and we were talking about it over there. It was just kind of when we were beforehand. I'm like, I hate social media. I don't want to use it. But obviously, you know what I mean. It's you can get so much success off it. But lately, I've been kind of coming out with this thing. It's like if I can help just one, and it's like 
that person has that opportune moment, like it's not their fault they don't know what you do. It's like your fault. So you got to be posting. What do you do? And I still get people like even to the day, like I'm clearly like a loan officer and it's fine, but they'll be like, what do you, Nick, like you do like insurance, right? Or whatever. But now they still don't know what you do until they know what yeah. you do. So mm-hmm. it's kind of part of it, like building your personal brand, really. It's like, how are you presenting yourself is what you spoke about. And I think that's huge. So I think still like building your personal brand slowly and like the followers that you want, things like that. I would take over one TikTok blowing up, I would think. Yeah, you know? for sure. Like who am I in my entirety? Yeah. That's true. Yeah, because, like, one TikTok blowing up is just, like, one thing blowing up. Mm-hmm. But, like, if you create, like, a brand around yourself, like, a, a culture around yourself, too, like, that's huge. That's yeah. that's what really counts for, like, the long-term business. Like, short-term, sure, like, it, it's nice to get some hype. But long-term, it's it, it makes so much difference. Like, I I actually went viral on, on Twitter one time, sneezing season. Like, I, I, <laughs> I posted one tweet. Like, I just oh, retweeted I one tweet. Yeah, I remember you telling me about yeah, this. And, like it went nuts for like a minute and like i went to the bar that night some dude was like you're season season guy right i was like dude i'm famous <laughs> that's awesome and then no like way. and like two days later like all the hype's gone so it's like wh- wh- what was all that for that's you know so what i mean cool. i didn't get any followers from it nothing so for sure you gotta create some like engaging content yeah absolutely. that's what it is for sure yeah so nick you're a paramedic yeah what got you into this business Dude, I had, well, so obviously, like, it's, like, giving back is, like, big for me. Like, full-time fireman and then paramedic as well. Um, for sure. Dude, I, I was buying a duplex. I got into real estate, and it was the same thing. Like, my buddy called me. It's, like, some dude that I worked out with at the gym, and he called me. Or I just knew him from the gym. I didn't even work out with him. But his deal was falling through during COVID on this duplex in Lakewood. And um, he's like, dude, I want you to take it over, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what are you getting out of this? Whatever. And nothing, man. I Sheen, Sheen Ford, that's, a, that's my boy, dude. I was shout out to him all day, but... Um, and he's been riding with me ever since. But through that, I, he introduced me to an awesome loan officer. He walked me through everything. Dude, I'd call him all the time. Like, dude, what's going on? You know, and he just always temper the flames. And he was just the best. So that's he kind of yeah. planted the seed, and I went. Yeah, you know? there you go, man. It's the best way to do it. How long have you been a paramedic? Uh, it's been, damn, like four years now. But full, full-time fireman, two and a half. So... So really? being a, yeah, 26. I'll 26. be 27 next month. Nice. Yeah, I'm getting up there. So do you use like, so when, when you're at like this, like a scene or something, like what do you, what do you do as a paramedic then? Do you yeah. hand out business cards on the scene? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ask them if they want a mortgage. <laughs> and, and by the way. If they're buying a house. Yeah. Like I know Alex, Kevin, Joey, I got you. But uh, yeah. no, man. So basically just like whatever needs to be done. Um, just EMS, just. You know, if there's any life threats, just transport them. You know, half the time it's like, you know, a 4 a.m. call. Someone who's having, like, leg pain for the past, like, three months. You're like, dude, like, are you serious, 3 a.m.? They call the fireman yeah. for that? Dude, yeah. So, because we're EMS, we're cross-trained. Oh, so, we I do see. fire and, and EMS. You know, so it's pretty crazy. Yeah. So, that's what I was telling Alex and I. We were talking about it earlier. It's like 80% of our business is mostly, like, EMS. You know, we run, like, 3,700 calls a year. Damn. It's a lot. Yeah. That is a lot. So I know the last few years have been super tough in like the loan space. Mm-hmm. W- what is your take on that? Because I know some people have just been getting rocked with yeah. doing loans lately. So like the past few years have been like really good from like 2019 to like 2021. Mm-hmm. And then <clears throat> obviously that inflation catches up to you always. So like when all that money's in circulation that they printed during like COVID, they have to get that back into the economy, as you guys all know. So right. yeah. you're going to hike the interest rates and things like that so <clears throat> right now they're kind of saying and who knows what the fed it's like the weather man it's like tomorrow's gonna rain and then it's sunny all day but right. um you know right now it seems like you know they're saying like inflation's like hit its peak and they're, it's gonna be slower rate hikes through but they're gonna be coming mm-hmm. you know yeah so right now we're looking at like five percent it's just, still not just bad. over. It's, it's not really not bad. not bad at all. But people like got so fixated on like the COVID lows of like two point nine. Dude, they're like, yeah. this yeah. is how it's supposed to be all the time. And it's like, dude, this was like, man, this, this was a unicorn of interest rates. Yeah, I'm surprised they did that when when like you have a huge seller's market already. Like you have a huge seller seller's market. Now let's take these interest rates and you know t- throw them to the ground for sure and just make so much competition Mm -hmm. like i feel like that almost ruined like everyone's perception of buying into real estate and you know investing too absolutely people are scared nowadays i mean you guys see it all the time i mean you guys still prospecting and all that yeah well i got a text today i was like she was uh, she asked me when i think home prices are gonna drop i was like i don't think they're gonna drop (laughs) anytime soon let me go get my crystal ball real quick yeah (laughs) Yeah. if if i if i knew i could predict the market then 
I'd be living in Miami. I'd be traveling the world. Like we'd all be rich. But, yeah. Like, nobody 100%. can predict the market. So, nobody. It doesn't matter. It's yeah. like the best line I've ever heard: Warren Buffett or Jimmy Buffett, dude. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Obviously, no one knows. We'll wait till the Fed talks, and that's it. But right now, I mean, it's all relative, dude. It's like high interest rates, correction in prices. You know, low interest rates, massive sellers market, and yeah, you know what I mean, like paying 30 40 over asking mm-hmm. it's just it's all relative but people are so fixated on just the one part of it interest rates i yeah. don't know why your interest your card your credit card is like 26 percent. right you know yes yeah, yeah which serious. is nuts so, that's crazy dude it's crazy what is it like 26 percent, 26.67 or something something stupid. like that yeah it's crazy. like 24 that's point i mean stupid. still like i mean it ranges but like it's around that would never borrow money from a credit yeah. card like yeah. yeah you take out this credit line hell no people yeah. are terrible borrowers but i mean the, the average car payment is like 520 bucks a month now but yeah people are like wigging out about the interest rates it's like you're a pro all of a sudden you yeah, know right. it's yeah. like i saw all your liabilities you know like, it's like <laughs> come on you're not hiding no yeah but I, think I, can hide I have seen a lot of people get afraid because of the interest rates yeah. i think people just walk around afraid anyway they were the same people that were afraid two years ago mm-hmm. they need an excuse well, yeah. that's yeah. all they Always. need is they need an excuse two years I, ago everyone was afraid because oh prices are so high for but sure looking back that was like one of the best times to buy yeah like everyone that bought yeah. two years ago was killing it so because the excuse then was like well the prices are ridiculous like i'm gonna wait till it cracks i'm gonna wait till the oh seven crash happens it's like dude you're and gonna now, be waiting forever yeah. dude. and now it's oh it went up even more so yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so you're gonna like, be right at some point, maybe. Like they say, what is it? Marry the marry the house, date the interest rate. So yeah, 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 yeah. Later, dude, so. and that's what I tell everybody. I'm like, it's cyclical. In three to five years, maybe even less. Sometimes, like you can refi, maybe get that rate again. You know, so like I think my parents yeah. still have like a seven five or something like that. Yeah, which is crazy. Why are they refining through you? I, this was like I don't even know. That's a good point. It's a good question. <laughs> Talk to them about it. Yeah. Well, historically, five is really low. Like back yeah. back when my parents bought it was like fifteen, sixteen percent. Really? Yeah. Jeez. That's yeah. insane. What was that like nineteen like eighty something? Seventies yeah, like seventies like, eighties. Yeah. Like well houses crazy. were like twelve thousand bucks back then. So yeah. that's good. <laughs> bought it, they bought it for like <laughs> bought it for like ninety K. Yeah. And it's worth like two fifty. It's now. insane, dude. Just like so. so much equity over the years. Seriously. Seriously. So I buy assets, dude. I just hard assets, baby. Yeah. Cash flow and assets, that's baby. Exactly. A, Joey, I saw your TikTok the other day about we you assets. did on the board about the assets. Yeah, yeah, I had a, a crowd full of people here sitting here watching <laughs> yeah. me teaching a class. Could you guys tell? <laughs> yeah, dude, this seemed like a packed room. <laughs> dude, I, yeah. you want to talk about Instagram? I had the video where I was like teaching a class, and <laughs> the one comment some from some random dude probably from one of my hashtags was like, "Bro, you know nobody's in that class." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, dude, I, I, I asked you that, at that meeting. I, I was like, so, yeah, honestly, yeah, that was like so. my one of my first questions I asked you. I was like, dude, I saw you on I saw you on Instagram. Let's be honest. Did you have Did you have a yeah. full room? I'm like, no. Yeah. That, was, that was a good idea. We gotta start somewhere, it, man. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. So there are yeah. a couple of people in there. It's all right. So how did those videos do? That's the were one you, that's blowing up right now. Actually, really? That yeah, I'm pretty sure. Was that the Denzel one or no? Um, uh, from uh, Remember the Titans? No. That one Dude, was good. One, I like that, that one. That one didn't blow up at all. Really? I thought that one was. Yeah, fire. I thought that was one that was gonna blow for sure. Yeah, that one has. It's a great movie. Not even a thousand views on Instagram. Favorite sports movie of all time, though. Let's change it. Remember the Titans is mine, though. That's an easy one for me. Oh, yeah. Sports movie? That was a good one. What's that one with Sandra Bullock? Oh, Blind, Blind Side. Side. Blind That's Side. a good one, That's too, a good one. man. That's a really that good, a good one. That is a good one. Yeah. Just in, Andrew Tate has been banned from Facebook and Instagram. Dude, what? I'm not a big fan. <laughs> no, neither am I. I think he's. I think he loves to hear himself no. talk, man. Yeah, honestly. You know he's paying all those people it, around him to like. Yeah. Type yeah, him up. It's insane. Yeah, yeah, I think it's. I think he's funny. He's yeah. I know it's like such a fraud. Dude. Yeah, right. like, how could you actually come on the mic? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta respect him for having that much like attention though. Yeah. He's everywhere. Dude, he's he, everywhere. Every dude, TikTok, literally. I wonder how much he's spending on it though. Well, no. Oh, I, so I, I guess he doesn't even have an account. No. It's other people that make. His like stuff to subscribe to his Hustlers University. Yeah, oh. and then I think so when, I think when someone signs up, he gets fifty percent, and they get fifty percent. Yeah, so, so it's they, kind of like an affiliate thing. Yeah, it's an gotcha, affiliate gotcha. marketing gotcha. thing. So they get a cut of it. That makes sense. Yeah, which is actually genius. which is he's really, not an idiot. He's, he's not an idiot. He's a smart guy. Yeah, he is. But dude, he's. 
he has no filter. Just not a big like, fan. Literally, yeah, yeah. like every single girl I've asked, "Hey, you fuck with Andrew Tate?" They're like, "No, fuck that <laughs> yeah, guy." Fuck yeah. Andrew Tate. Yeah. But here's the thing: they go and watch his videos because they because they hate him that much. They want to yeah. see what the, what he's talking about now. 100. Well, percent Some That's of the smart. shit I I think he has to be kidding what he says, like because it's just it's just. Oh no my way. god! He yeah. didn't say that. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you're hilarious, but, but that is just not yeah. even real. Like. But when he says it like that, that's what gets the views. Like mm-hmm. when yeah. he goes freaking off the wall, that's why he, that's why he gets the views. It's so easy yeah. to piss people off nowadays too. Everyone's so hurt by everything, dude. It's like, and that's headlines. It's yeah, like McGregor with UFC, man. People like I loved McGregor, but that cat. People wanted to see. It. They tuned in to see his get his ass whooped, and it, it was yeah. rare to happen. Right. Yeah. Everyone so. wanted to see, like, when you're doing so well and you're talking so big, people want to see you go down. And the, that's like, for sure. That's I feel like that's the algorithm right there. Like, yeah. Because I was talking to Alex about this the other day. Do we just like breaks, like say some shit that breaks the law? <laughs> and, yeah. and just we're like not being serious, but like, if we do that, will we'll we attract that much more viewers because people are just going crazy about this like headline or whatever? Right. That's exactly right, dude. Yeah, like you just gotta say some wild shit and then people are gonna be like yeah be, like being different man yeah yeah it's crazy but it's stupid how like the psychology behind it just people would just love to gravitate towards like that negative energy too yeah like it's weird because sometimes i'll catch myself just watching like videos of cops just taking out people that deserve it and shit like, yeah. like what, what am i doing like why yeah. am i gravitating towards like i don't, don't want to watch this like mm-hmm. what's what's interesting to me about that yeah. We're primitive, man. At yeah. The core, I think. We just like that hunter killer energy, I guess. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. It's also just not something you see every day, too. That's true, That's too. Yeah. Point. Pretty domesticated now. Especially, yeah, yeah. especially now. Yeah. That hard times create strong men type deal. Yeah, which is awesome. I get on, I could stand by that all day. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. I subscribe to that for sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look at you two, what you built over here, man. I mean, who your age is really like getting after it. Same with you, Joey. You know what I mean? Like, it makes you too. I th- yeah, I appreciate it, bro. But seriously, like, I, I don't know many people our age, and this isn't, like, to gloat or anything, but, like, but I was talking to my buddy yesterday, and we were talking, like, does anyone think like us that, like, has that, like, burning fire to just, like, constantly do something? Like, we're 24 on 48 off at the station, but it's, like, those two days, I'm like, man, what more? Like, there's got to be something more. That what else can you do? Yeah, man, yeah, there's yeah. something, man. Like, I don't know, just, like, what's going to lead you to that life of philanthropy or whatever you can do to give back? You know, I don't know. That's what I'm big on. Mm-hmm. So it's personal, yeah. but... Yeah, what are you guys' drives actually? I kind of want to know that. Like, what are your drives I'm, to like? I'm trying different so things. I I don't want to rely on the next commission check mm-hmm. to get passed. Yeah. Which is why EXP is a great business model because you don't have to. Yeah. Because there's so many. There's like I think there's five different ways you can make income. Yeah. Through EXP, but um. I didn't know that. Yeah, but I want at least like five different streams of income. Mm-hmm. Like. Why though? So I don't have to wait on the next commission check. Yeah, but why? Like, what's your end what goal? What are you, you driving? Deep? What are you well, driving for? I, we're peeling the layers of jelly. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, like, I want, I want to get into rentals. I was talking to Kevin about this yesterday. He made me an awesome spreadsheet. Ran the numbers through. Um, I want to make like five grand a month in rentals, and then I want to start this Amazon FBA. Mm-hmm. You know about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you tried it before, but I think. I just need to try it out, see how it works, and then. Yeah. Being scared of failure is not like you need to take risks, right? Mm-hmm. Do you agree? Yeah. Hundred uh, percent. Yeah, because if you don't take risks, then you're not gonna know if it works or not. You're not yeah. gonna make any money. So this whole this whole business is a risk. Like, you're you have steady income because you're a paramedic. Yeah, but it's also like but, golden handcuffs. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, I was I was going to be a nurse. Which would have been steady income every two weeks, and I left for here, which is not guaranteed income. Mm. So that's a risk in itself, but I know the reward is high. Back against the so, wall, though, man. I know. I know. love that. Exactly that's the best thing you could do. I mean, man. yeah, especially starting out, it's tough, but, I mean, there's definitely room for growth, mm. and you can definitely make it yeah. as long as you grind and do your thing. So, Can you imagine Nurse Joey? 
Mike no. Conan. No. <laughs> could, could you guys? Not a no chance. one. Nobody. <laughs> I, give me someone else. <laughs> yeah, nobody I know could even like say that either. He's walking and with I, like a Budweiser in his hand. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> just smash a shotgun of yeah, beer and then walk in. Shotgun of beer, go in. Hey, how we doing? All right, what's up, yeah. Nurse Joey? Yeah. yeah. Let me Time ask for your daily wipe. What made you want to get? <laughs> what made you want to get in that in the beginning? Was it kind of just like a well, dude, dude, I was like, young and I don't know? I was so fucked. I was in the hospital for like I was like probably 11 years old, and I my vision was blurry, drinking. Um, just thirsty as shit every hour waking up to go pee every night and I was in the hospital for like probably two weeks and I had diabetes and like the nurses in there were so cool they were so sweet and like I thought it was great like that that's what I wanted to do but I got into school and I was like this isn't what I want to do like it's not what it seems like I don't know you know this you probably went through the same thing the same schooling dude I'm, I'm like I just it just wasn't for me like I didn't care enough right like you have to it. care to, like be good at it yeah and or i just you, didn't or you get super jaded to the point where you're just like i'll oh, just do it yeah people are gross bro i don't like yeah. you wouldn't think people <laughs> yeah, wouldn't people understand the gross. actual population of people that are just like nasty you go into some of like, these houses man you're just like oh my oh. god tell, yeah tell me about seriously. it seriously yeah i i have a story like this so i went into the to like the lesser fortunate areas mm -hmm. in cleveland to sell a house I was not expect like I walk in this house. It's like a five bedroom, two bath. I was thinking this house was big. I have a lot of space. They probably it's probably clean. No, there's like pots piled up, like yay high. Like there's no, like, there's closets, but all the clothes are on the floor, like on the beds. Like there's freaking ketchup stains all over, and there's a ketchup bottle sitting right there. Yeah, it was disgusting, dude. Yeah, dude, like I'm, I can imagine like what you what you see in your field, no. dude. It's terrible. Well, my first clinical, that was one of the first hit me. Yeah, so I was going in like actually doing things firsthand right like wiping ass and turning people and like changing their oh. briefs and i was like oh god this is not what i want to do Dude, and I, that's not where i wanted to stay i wanted to like obviously you have to become a nurse and then work your way up to something else mm. i want to do anesthesia which is oh, like, okay yeah but and they don't do all that stuff but it's i just couldn't do it couldn't do it Jeez. There's no way we package the people up and drop them off to you, bro. I don't. I'm yeah. not for twelve yeah, hours. Yeah. Like, dude, yeah. I'm yeah. like covered in poop, bro. Like I'm like, here you go, Joey. Yeah. Congrats. Like, but you kind of get the nasty part of it too, dude. Like, we you see, see. I mean, like, at their most vulnerable. You honestly, yeah. God, we joke about it at the station because you would think like people like <laughs> get naked, go lock their door, poop and pee themselves, and then then call nine one one because they're yeah. always like naked, like full. Like they oh, planned it yeah. out. That's what I'm like. <laughs> Okay, now I'm ready. You know what I mean? Now I'm ready. We're just like, oh, covered in poop again, dude. Like, cool. Like, oh, jeez, dude. Yeah. You, see some you guys gotta shit. come see this. Yeah, I, yeah, seriously. And I just Every think, time, bro. I think know. they're so underpaid, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, paramedics, nurses, like, all those people, like, they're so underpaid. Yeah. So underpaid. They do a lot of stuff, man. Nurses are making a shit ton right now, man. There's, yeah, nurses are. Yeah. Because yeah. they're so short staffed from, so you know, short -staffed. yeah. They're we, probably short-staffed because they weren't getting paid enough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Here it is. Oh, I stayed. I guess I'm getting paid more now. And especially <laughs> so. through COVID, like all the bullshit they had to go through, they, and like for no extra money, like I'd be pissed too. Like I would have left. That had to be but, like one of the most stressful things ever. Being in yeah. During that. Yeah. Oh my god! Like March, April, May of 2020. Dude, that whole year, man, was rough. I mean, we had to like hose down every patient. We had to hose down like. Just spray it down, disinfect after every single call, dude. We were, had the engine rolling on every call, dude. Everyone was out on everything, so it was just yeah. like geez, my dad had a day. kidney stone. He needed to go like see somebody, and he couldn't get in for two days. Shit. Waiting in the waiting room for <clears throat> two days. Wait, he waited at the yeah. Whoa. Just in pain, just like at kidney stones. They fucking hurt. Yeah, like, it's hardcore. Yeah, it's bad. I've never had one, but that's gotta be terrible. Imagine pissing out like a stone like that big. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's no a freaking BB gun. Yeah, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Worse than that. Yeah, so he's just sitting in pain, like in the waiting room, just waiting to get in, getting, uh, waiting to be seen by somebody. But everyone's taking like it's full. The hospital's full. Yeah, mm -hmm. with no staff. Damn. Yeah. What's your guys' stance and thoughts on college? It's a business. Nowadays, dude. It's a nowadays. Scam. Yeah. yeah. Just kidding. You know that's the only. So we go over liabilities and all that, and I, I'm sure you guys probably know this, but that is the only you can. Um, file for bankruptcy and you still have to pay that that's like not bankruptable you guys know that you still have what, to pay student really? loans yeah student, student loans. loans you have to pay yeah, that back dude. no matter what isn't that insane so do they like add on interest like as you're filing for bankruptcy or what i don't know specifically but i know that even if you file for bankruptcy they stay there like 
those don't go away. You have to pay those. Whoa. You're responsible for those no matter what. Which is pretty nuts. Yeah. Maybe college is a scam. It is a big time scam. Yeah, so I, don't, I don't, like, if you're going into a specialized field, like a medical, right. engineering, like something that you need yeah. schooling for, for sure. But if you're going for I'm anything, saying, if you're right out of high school and you don't know what the hell you want to do with your life, don't go to college. Yet. Don't go to college. Yeah. If you're going for, like, a bull, like some bullshit degree you don't even know or, like, know anything about, you don't even have, you have no business shit. even, like, about what they do, then <clears> don't go. Because you're paying what? What is it? Twenty grand like a year now? Just more? It's probably, probably way more. It's average probably way yeah. more than that. Yeah. Going and like say what's what's a degree that people get? Psychology, like liberal arts, fuck, a business, <laughs> a business degree, a business yeah. degree. Yeah. No offense, you have a you have a business degree, right? I do. Okay, well, <laughs> people that don't know what they want to go to school for, they go for business, right? Am mm -hmm. I right? Yeah. Yeah. Hundred hundred percent. Yeah, and then they end up in debt, the what, sixty grand, and. They don't know what to do. But, yeah. dude, they know business. Yes. They're pros. Like, what, what, they, they, what, they can what about business, though? So, like, what about it? Uh, I don't know. I think the best degree is actually going through the fire and, like, starting a business and doing it yourself. Like, oh, you yeah. learn so much more 100%. doing that than yeah. sitting in a classroom learning from something, learning from someone who got their degree just to teach it. Like, yeah. they haven't actually yeah. done it. Exactly. Exactly. That's a good point. Yeah. Those who can't do teach. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's a good point. Man. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah, dude. But I wouldn't say, like, I wouldn't, I'm glad I went to college because I did learn a good amount from what I did, but it was more so, like, the networking, too. Mm -hmm. And sure, I mean, yeah. it, was, Absolutely. it was a good time. Where'd too, you go? So. Yeah. I went to Bowling Green. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah BG's a wild one. Did you go to BG, too? Yeah, I went to no, BG. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. What did you graduate one. with? I had psychology degree, criminal justice degree. So, uh, did you want to be an officer like initially? Or? Yeah, initially I wanted to like go into the Air Force, mm -hmm. to be an officer there, become a pilot, and then take off from there. But just like looking at the politics behind being an officer nowadays mm -hmm. and like all the hate they're getting, I was like, dude, it's insane. I, I can't do it. Like, I, I, I have so much respect for everyone that is an officer. Like, I'll wrap the blue stripe all day, but mm -hmm. yeah. I, I couldn't do it myself. Yeah, yeah. Always. yeah. absolutely not. They always tell us they picked the wrong career. They took the wrong test, is what they say. <laughs> been a player, man. Seriously. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> but, I mean, I feel like your, tw your early 20s, there's, like, time for you to experiment on what you actually like and what you want to do. Yeah. Like, go into sales. You can make a shit ton of money in sales. I have a buddy. He lives, he's selling solar energy stuff in uh miami this summer it was like a summer gig Damn. knocking made all a, the doors that yeah. door knocking from door knocking sales just selling the shit and he made a hundred grand in, one in, month. in the summer just the summertime three months Fuck. dude what yeah <clears throat> damn just yeah. from door knocking he's just, just a sales guy he's sales like guy the, door knocking company. yeah exactly damn. and he's like dude he's in college he goes to alabama mm -hmm. and he's like dude i might drop out like why wouldn't you made a hundred grand <laughs> in three months yeah yeah. For what, what? What's what's your degree gonna pay you? Like fifty like, grand a year. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. If people, he does it for a full year and gets even a little better at it, he's clearing four hundred. Exactly. That's insane. Yeah. But people yeah. forget like the they talk about sales and like how much money you can make, but it's like the driving factor. Like you have it's to tough. be hungry. Bro. Sales like, is tough, dude. It's so different. It's real tough. You guys hear that quote? You got a PhD in success. You got to be poor, hungry, and driven. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Hundred percent. Who who said that? A Rod. A Rod said that. Did he really? Yeah. Man, I like that. Yeah, but like that, you really got to have that drive, dude. Like, because in this business, like, you're going to get knocked down day after day. 100%. Like, I used to do a lot of cold calls, but, like, I, I, I'll i personally say that I've gotten knocked down a little bit just because, like, I was coming in, like, blazing, right? Cold calls all day. Mm -hmm. Then you hear all these no's. You hear people cussing you out, blah, blah, blah. I, I take that personally sometimes, but yeah, yeah. I, I got to find a way to, to like, kind of brush it off the shoulder and, you know, deal with it, move forward, you know, not worry about what this guy wants, but because... At the end of the day, you could be helping someone. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Uh, I think it's so much better when you have people around you doing the same thing too. Mm. Like if you're working a oh, sales job sure. and just doing it yourself. Yeah. It's yeah. like, like dude, that can just eat away at you. Like if you're having a bad day too. Mm. But if you yeah. got people around you, I feel like it just makes it so much easier. Mm. For like, sure. Yeah. Just the synergy of being around other people doing the same thing. That have the same drive. Like we're all driven to like do it. And like you know. I think that's what it just makes it a lot that much better. Yeah. And just being in this space too, like as soon as I saw you guys across the hallway, I was because I ran into, I think, Azeem in the elevator. Yeah. And I was like, no way. I was like, what are you doing here? He's like, oh, you didn't even know. No, I didn't know you guys were here. No. Because we, we were just looking. Alex found this place and he called them. So we were coming for a showing. Mm -hmm. I ran into Azeem in the elevator. I was like, what are you doing here? He's like, my office is up there. I was like, what floor? He's like, third. 
I was like, dude, we're going to shoot third floor right now. Nice. And he's like, yeah, we got like a whole big play. So after we saw this, we went over there. I saw Jad, saw Azeem, um, Austin. But yeah, after seeing that, I was like, dude, like this this place has got to be it. Cause, yeah, man. I mean, just having like, I know how driven you guys are. So I feel like just having us clashing on top, like creating some good energy, like that'll it'll sure. push everyone further it's huge man like you're able to just walk over here and film a pod right now i thought that was the coolest thing yeah. over there i'm like i'm gonna come over and wreak havoc just walk in like, yeah i saw where y'all at yeah, yeah, yeah. we got a alex <laughs> and like this place is good for videos too like content oh like, yeah it's just so easy to make stuff like the whiteboard the for pods sure. like everything yeah tv if we yeah, really need TV, yeah if we can cut this glare somehow i don't know but yeah, yeah. i don't know man it's exciting stuff right. man just starting out too that's the cool thing is i had a realtor come by and like see the place over there and i'm just like man i was like thinking like you know mortgage companies like 10 15 years ago like even apple starting from a garage like things like that it's like man yeah. where are we going to be at in five ten years from now you know what i mean what is it going to look like right it's just how many people it's just like cool to see yeah. like what's the long-term vision you know exactly so what's your long-term vision for greenly for for personal life and yeah greenly just personal life i mean in regards to like using like greenly as like a vehicle like i love greenly like getting that build up having a team um you know and then just being able to be financially free and take care of the people around me i think that's big for me my parents like worked their asses off for everything my mom was a stay-at-home mom my dad worked so hard two jobs still does to this day he's just the best dude ever but um yeah take care of them whatever they need and then just really just be able to give back and then work from wherever same thing like kind of just passive income from real estate but constantly yeah. giving back like getting on podcasts and then a big thing i want to do is like talk to like the youth i think that'd be the coolest thing ever is just definitely most of us like in this generation it's all like party 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 mm -hmm. like influencer blah 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 but it's like who are you becoming as a man like who are you in the process who are you growing into i think that is a leaps and bounds better than who are you trying to be perceived as pretty much creating that legacy absolutely yeah i yeah. love that definitely i feel like yeah if you're doing like you could party all you want right now but at the end of the day, who are you helping? Like, who are you influencing? Like, who are you, like, giving back to? Mm -hmm. I like how you said the youth, too. It's like, the youth is like, I mean, we're, we're already old. Like, the youth is yeah, the next generation coming right. up. Like, we got to start thinking about them. Even if you don't have kids yet, mm -hmm. like, start think, thinking about them now. Like, if you do decide to have them later on, like, what are you going to be able to give them and create for them? And, like, how can they grow from that? Still give them a hard time because hard times create strong men. No, you don't want them to be weak, but yep. at the same time, like, how can I provide to give them, like, that good environment that they want to live in? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Uncomfort is growth, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Get outside the comfort zone. <clears throat> That's right. Starting a business. Step one. Starting a yeah. business. Yeah. It's no joke, man. Not everybody's an entrepreneur, too. That's like, yeah. you know, there's a lot of entrepreneurs as well. Yeah. I'm one of them, man. I, I dude, I mean... Azim is next level, dude. Uh, like the way him and Jad, like the way they process things. I'm just like, I'll be a dog, but like I, I that stuff, man. I don't know. You've been getting out there though. Stuff. You've been you've been For reaching sure. out to a lot of people. Yeah, you know? I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, yeah. It's just I like that blooper video you posted. <laughs> that was. Fun. Do you guys watch The Office or no? No, I, no. I tried to, man, but I got the first episode. It was like this is so boring. Yeah, I'm gonna hurt you your mic. Going. I've seen enough. <laughs> yeah. I've seen enough memes to where I feel like I've watched those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Memes all over the internet. It's an awesome show. I yeah. watched it when I was in like paramedic school. I'd be like at clinicals, like watching The Office. It got me through it, dude. Literally, because it's so boring. <laughs> it's so yeah. boring. Yeah, literally. But I appreciate it, man. I had a good time. Yeah, I feel like that's like what people want to see too, because like it's raw footage yeah, of like man. that's like the real shit For you sure. know, going on behind you know who are you genuinely not, like yeah it's not always like all money and mm -hmm. living this great life like i feel like behind the scenes is what people want to see and, like yeah. what you're doing that's a good idea that's a great idea what if we just start like doing like office type scenes and like these offices right here that'd be awesome where you just like come up to someone with the camera just like zoom in and them like freaking they out over a camera. listing or yeah. freaking out over a deal like that's bombing right now yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah they're just gazing <laughs> at the camera <laughs> yeah just like stupid shit like that I feel like that's good for Asian attraction too yeah just to see like raw footage and how the shit works yeah like yeah especially the, being in this environment too yeah yeah you don't want to give them like a false idea of what you're actually about yeah, yeah. what the business is about yeah sure. exactly like you guys always say under promise over produce yeah, yeah. or over provide over deliver over deliver yeah, that's yeah. it yeah yeah so pretty much the same thing like see the real and if it, if you come in and you know it's better than that great if mm -hmm. you come in it's the same thing it's exactly what you're expecting absolutely yeah. that's a good way of putting it yeah definitely karen you knew you had to pay for an appraisal like i could just see it right now <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? 
<laughs> so talk to Karen. You get people. Sure that you got to hold their hands sometimes, man. That's cool. Like you know, but yeah. But it is what it is. I mean, like we're professionals. They're not absolutely. You know? So man. yeah, it's a scary process. Show them. Yeah, exactly. I, I was talking to a new agent yesterday. I was telling him like, this business is not just selling real estate. It's not just. You're not just a salesman. You're a psychologist almost because you, you have to like deal with these people's emotions too. And like if they're scared about some stuff or if they're scared about like making that step forward, it's not. You're not just gonna like lay back and be like, all right, fuck you then. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you're, you're gonna like, try to walk them through like everything and like kind of calm their nerves and make sure they're okay with moving forward with what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And if they're not, they're not. You know, some people aren't ready. Like I, I went through this entire sale with this lady, like thinking that she was good, but she really wasn't. And like at the last, very last second, she backed out of signing the contracts or signing the paperwork. So it, it saves you time and it helps them out. It makes makes them know that you're actually interested in them and not just right. making the money. Yeah. Yeah. That's huge too. Yeah. It's all worth it when they're standing in front of the house, right? Taking exactly. a picture in front of it, you know? Yeah. You guys deal with that. But. Yeah. People love being emotional. But I mean, it is like the biggest decision or like biggest investment people make. Right. So mm -hmm. yeah. I get it. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking, I was like toying with like an interest rate calculator the other day and it was like on a $250,000 house, you're like paying like 200 grand on like interest by the end of the 30 years. And it's like, oh, it's <laughs> yeah. disgusting, yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's all relative, man. I mean, you're borrowing $250,000 to. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if that $200,000 is definitely worth 30 years of your time, mm -hmm. if, it, if it means like you finding the place that you want to settle down and like have kids, raise kids, like have family over, like that $200,000 in the grand scheme of things is nothing if you're Priceless. creating a life that you want. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's true. It's almost like a that's savings true. plan for you too, because if you're shuttling money and building equity into the house. Like most of these people would be blowing money if they had that leftover cash like coming in, you know, right. like. 100%. So it's like forced. Definitely. Yeah, investing. Forced equity, yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that thought. Someone clip that. Someone clip yeah. that. Right now. <laughs> Kev, right now. <laughs> Kev, you got to get on this. We should shut it down so you can edit this shit. I don't think I can edit today. I got to leave in like a half an hour. No, you're All right. We don't want excuses, Kev. Yeah. yeah. No, fuck. I'm just kidding. You're driving, right? Are we going Columbus? Columbus, yeah. Hey, you better be driving. You yeah. might not be flying. No. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'll give it to JC. Uh, ten minute yeah. flight. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who we're was Sunday, doing, who was we're doing that? Wasn't Kylie Jenner doing that or something? Flying like ten minute flights. She's a billionaire. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. I know people yeah. were bitching yeah. about that. Yeah, seriously. People were bitching about that for some oh, reason. Wow. People bitch about everything. Yeah. Some yeah. of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Why does that affect me? Yeah, I was like, exactly. Why does that affect dude? Like, just let her fly. I would fly ten minutes too if it's a three hour drive. So you got to have like a private jet too, no? Isn't she a billionaire? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I think. I don't know yeah. if it was private that's commercial. Youngest billionaire, or I think. Yeah, that's what I thought. She's got to probably have her own jet then yeah. at that point. Oh, yeah. oh, she has. I just know her no people, people were bitching about it. What are they, like $60 million? Can you imagine like $60 million being like a drop in the bucket for you? Be, you know what I mean? Tax like, off. I guess I'll buy this jet. Like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Like, but I want the pink one, so yeah. maybe like yeah. another $80 million. I yeah. buy both. <laughs> What? Can't decide which one. I'll get both. Grant Cardone is a pretty sweet jet. The dude used that jet as a tax write-off. He's making yeah. that much money that he that he bought that jet to be a tax write-off. Can you believe that? Yeah, it's insane. You can do that with G wagons too, can't you? Yeah, anything. I just, I just saw a video with that too. Literally anything. It's, they have to be a, over a certain weight or something. It's, it's, it's like over six thousand pounds. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. It's crazy, man. You guys like G wagons? No. I think they're kind of dope, dude. Honestly, I think, they yeah. Too. Yeah. I think you're a G if you drive a G wagon. Yeah. My uncle's got I one. Know. I think that's sick. why else do they call it a G wagon? Bro? Exactly. Yeah, just, <laughs> they know what they're doing. Honestly. Yeah. Or did the, or did the name like the term G come from G wagon? G. I don't know. Oh, Look at you. You're like you almost had me for gangsta. Real. Yeah. <laughs> gangsta. I don't know, dude. I love it. They're they're okay, I guess. <laughs> All right. We swayed them. Selling them on. I mean, I definitely yeah. take one. I definitely take one for Hook, sure. Hook, line, and sinker. Got them. Joe, I feel like you're like a motorcycle guy. No. I can see with a Harley. No. For sure. I, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I feel like I'd kill myself, honestly. Those are death traps. <laughs> yeah, fact. Yeah. Hey, yeah. we calling up Nick. Yeah, yeah Nick will see me. poop on me. On the highway. Yeah. <laughs> shit my pants. Yeah. I wrecked my bike and shit myself, dude. Yeah. Somehow smeared <laughs> all over me, too. <laughs> Can you can clean this up, dude. I can't yeah. move. Why is it on my it's nose? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I shit. You. Fuck, man. I think that's, we should wrap it up here. Yeah. Let's wrap that it was up. good. I thought we flowed nice. Yeah, we flowed. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cool. Joe, you want to wrap, wrap us up? Wrap us up.
Play us out. We out, out. yo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh -huh. it's about that time. It's about that time. Turn this thing on now. Shit. Now, let me see everybody do this. Damn. Hey, let's go. 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 Let's go.